Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another word from the Lord. Um, let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Lord Jesus, bless all the people in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So the words that I heard were RSVP and torch, RSVP and torch. So RSVP means respond if you please. It's a um, acronym for a French phrase, and it just means respond if you please. Um, and to confirm attendance for an event such as a wedding, birthday, party, or baby shower. And the scripture that the Lord gave me was Luke 14, verse 16 through 24. It says, but he said to him, a man once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, come for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go out and see it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, go out quickly to the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. And the servant said, sir, what you commanded has been done and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste my banquet. All right. And so that is speaking about the children of Israel having the initial invitation, rejecting it, and it being offered to all the Gentiles of the world. And so anyone who is willing to come in um, can, can participate in the banquet. But we also know that in other translations, it talks about having um, clean garments when you come into the banquet. Um it is, um, uh, or otherwise you'll be ejected from the banquet um, to have like a wedding garment. All right. And so wedding garment is associated with um, Christ cleansing you with the word. All right. So the torch has to do with Matthew 25. That's what I felt like the Holy Spirit was saying. It says, then the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flask of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at the midnight, at midnight, there was a cry. Here is the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered saying, since there is not that since there will not be enough for us and for you go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, truly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. All right. And so those were the two words that the Lord gave me were RSVP and torch. So, I, you know, that torch is another word for lamp. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.